This is a camera comparison, but also it isn't. These two phones are worlds apart when it comes to their concept of capturing content, but they're also closer than you might think. So let's not compare them and find out which one is for you. Welcome back to Sam Mobile TV. You're here with Daniel. These two phones offer something very different when it comes to cameras. The S24 Ultra is the top camera hardware that Samsung has to offer you. Whilst the Fold 6 gives you capable camera hardware, but surrounds it with incredible flexibility on how you can capture your content. A lot of you are probably expecting me to compare output. I'm not gonna do that. In most scenarios, daytime shots that most of us will take our photos in, these two phones will give you perfectly capable output, especially if all we're doing really is updating and uploading to social media and sharing with family and friends. The Fold 6 will give you really good output for that because it's got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy with its image processing and a very capable set of trio of cameras. What I want to do is break down how you can get the shot with both of these phones because they vastly different to each other. The S24 Ultra, it's got four cameras on the back plus a laser water focus sensor to help with focusing with things like portrait photos and portrait video. It has got a few advantages over the Galaxy Z Fold 6. One, it's the 200 megapixel main camera, but not because it's a 200 megapixel resolution, although that does just offer another way of capturing sort of photos, but it's got a better depth of field. That is down to the fact it's a larger sensor. So it's a one in 1.33 inch sensor versus a one in 1.56 on the Z Fold 6's main sensor. Also, it's got a 1.7 aperture versus 1.8. So it's a sort of faster aperture that lets in more light and the bigger sensor also does that as well. But the advantage that it gives you is the depth of field is better. So when you're capturing subjects sort of close-ish, it can sort of separate that foreground and background really naturally and sort of create that really natural bokeh effect. You could see the difference there to the Z Fold 6, how much sort of you can be closer to something, you can be further away from something rather to get that depth of field. The other hardware difference in terms of the cameras on the back is the five times telephoto. The 50 megapixel five times telephoto is an absolute joy to use on the S24 Ultra. Not just because it offers you way more of a flexible shooting range, you can take a good photo anywhere from 0.6X all the way up to 10 and anywhere in between because the 50 megapixel gives you that resolution to sort of play with. Its maximum optical zoom is only 3X and it's a Fairly weak 3X considering how many generations of Fold we've had now, but it does okay. But it does sort of use AI to upscale when you get that 10X and beyond. This 5X camera on the S24 Ultra supports 8K30 video resolution, which just further expands the arsenal of content creation. The other hardware point that isn't really camera related is the S Pen. The S Pen being built in and coming part of the package with the Ultra means that you can have a remote shutter. And that remote shutter can be used when you have a tripod. It can be used if you're taking selfies. It's just a really good way of controlling the camera from a distance and being part of the phone package. It should be something that you, you think about when you want to compare the camera outputs. You can get the S Pen Pro for the Z Fold 6 and, and I have an older one, but they are harder to get than they used to be. And it's not part of the stock out of the box experience. And I think that is pretty much what I'd like to compare in this video. But that's about where the advantages end. In every other way, the Z Fold 6 can just do more than the S24 Ultra. The first thing is selfies. With the form factor of the Z Fold 6, you can easily snap a rear cam selfie that is of much higher quality than the S24 Ultra. When you press selfie from the cover screen, you just unfold it with the cameras and the screen facing you. And not only can you preview yourself, but you can pretty much use any camera mode on the, the phone. Go 0.6X, 3X, use portrait video, everything in its full capacity can be done in this way. The S24 Ultra has a good selfie camera. The 12 megapixel camera with dual pixel autofocus is absolutely a step in the right direction for selfie cameras. And it's very clear and if you need a pinch, can take a good photo, but it just can't compete with what you get on the Z Fold 6 and its output from those rear cameras. The Fold 6 is also good for the people that are getting their photo taken. They can see themselves in the shot. I really like doing it with my kids 
because they can have sometimes a hard time at sort of focusing for photos, they like looking at themselves, seeing the silly faces that they make. It means I can get them still and take a good photo of them without sort of harassing them for like ages. The next big advantage is flex mode. This is a cheat code of the highest degree for video capture. We all know the advantages that you get from a tripod where the phone can be stationed still in a sort of singular spot and just continuously capture video without needing to control it. It's a huge advantage to capturing video. The thing is you always need that accessory. It's not an out of the box experience. You need to either get a case or a big clunky tripod and then take that around everywhere you go. The Fold is its own tripod. So compared to the S24 Ultra, it's so easy to just put the phone down on a table and hit record. You don't have to bring anything. It's whatever's in your pocket is the tripod. Providing you've got yourself a flat surface, which most of the places you'll go, you'll have that. You can use this. And Sam's not clever. They didn't just build the hinge. They then built the software to support it. And as the years have gone on, the software has just gotten more and more refined to the point now where everything you need is there. When you flex it, the software changes, all the controls are down the bottom and your previews in the top half. But then alongside that, there's so many camera modes which take advantage of this form factor. For one, auto framing. You can use this on the S24 Ultra, but it does recommend using a tripod. With the Fold, you just stick it down on the table and let it sort of follow you around without you having to do anything. It's great. The thing is, if even if it didn't have the software, the sheer fact this hinge is strong enough to sort of stand on its own like this is enough for me. Myself, what I really like is as a dad, I'm usually the one filming the kids sort of playing around. And it could be hard when you look back on the memories and you're not in them. So what I really like is I can set the phone down and then be part of the memories. I don't have to go and get the tripod out, set it all up. And by the time I do that, the moment's gone. This is like an inconspicuous way of capturing the moment and being a part of it simultaneously. Another part of flex mode is video calls. It's part of the camera experience as it uses the cameras. With this way for ultra, it's, it's got the superior video call selfie camera. Absolutely, we'll give it that. But if you're holding it for lengthy periods of time, it can become quite cumbersome. And again, you'll likely need to prop it up somewhere and hope it doesn't slip down. Fold 6, even with the under-display camera being the main video call camera, is a better video call experience. You can prop it up and go hands-free and continue about your video call comfortably and confidently. The last part with the Fold is the optimized software for the bigger inner display. I'm not usually a big one for advocating taking photos with a tablet. That's only because the cameras on a tablet are average. But this is a Fold. This is a smartphone. So the cameras are flagship quality. What I mean by the optimized software is when it is unfolded and you've got the preview screen on with the camera, you can optimize it so one half of the display showcases your review, so the photos you've taken, and the other half is your preview and your capturing in your modes. And when you capture a photo, the review side updates with a few of the last photos you've taken. You can pinch to zoom in on them. You can long press and delete them. It's just a much sort of more efficient way of utilizing that inner display and taking advantage of the space that you've got. So there's two camera systems, both offering a very different take over what a smartphone camera can do. I want you to decide in the comments which way you prefer capturing your content, whether it be the traditional slab route that offers you more than a normal slab would with the four cameras and the software that's part of the experience, and don't forget the S Pen. Or do you like this new way of using this form factor that allows you to be creative and unfold it and prop it up on a table somewhere to capture things you might not have been able to get before? Decide in the comments, argue away, I'm sure you will. Hit subscribe to Sam Mobile TV. Come and find us on all our socials and our website. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.